And despite the Supreme Court's ruling today, Richland District 1 says they will still require students to wear masks. And DHEC says they don't plan to issue an emergency mask mandate for schools anytime soon. Here's Eleanor Tabone. The majority opinion made it very clear that the court was not wading into determining what is good or bad public policy. Today's ruling comes as the state sees a surge in school-related COVID cases. As a classroom teacher that's seeing daily the devastating impact of the spread of COVID-19 on student health, on school operations, on teacher well-being as teachers try to juggle caring for students that are in person and online. It's overwhelming right now. Our schools are literally at a breaking point. Patrick Kelly from the Palmetto State Teachers Association says the decision to mask should be up to the districts. Return control over school operations to local school districts who best know their local conditions, who best know their local resources and are interacting with our students on a day to day basis. The South Carolina Department of Education says these decisions are best made by local school board members who know these students, parents and communities best. While DHEC says the situation in each school district is different and issuing a statewide order that applies equally to every school and that would be enforceable with the current proviso in place and that would withstand legal challenge is not currently feasible. While Richland One said we hope that the court would have rendered a ruling that is more protective of our youngest and most vulnerable students. Richland School District 2 is still waiting to hear the state Supreme Court's ruling on its mask mandate. Eleanor Tabone, News 19, WLTX.